हेलो बेटा गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन तो बच्चे आज हम बात करेंगे लॉजिक की ठीक है लॉजिक इज 1.5 सेक्शन ऑफ सिट सेटर एंड हैमिल्ड एंड आई एम टेकिंग दिस एंटायर 1.5 सेक्शन इन टू पार्ट्स लेट अस स्टार्ट बाय अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट आर प्रोपोजिशंस राइट बेटा एनीथिंग व्हिच अच्छा प्रोपोजिशन में पहले एजर्शन समझो व्हाट इज एन एजर्शन एनीथिंग That can be a statement is called an assertion. जब मैं एक statement बोलती हूँ कुछ भी बोलती हूँ I passed. It's a statement. I have failed the exam. Statement. The match went good. Statement. Any thing is a statement when it comes with a full stop. ठीक है This is a table. This is a laptop. This is a tab. These are all assertions. Assertion माने statement. those assertions which can either be true or false jo bhi true ya false ho sakti hain they are called as proposition for example when i say all individuals who breathe are alive jo bhi saans le sakte hain wo zinda hain all individuals who can breathe are alive this is a true statement if you can breathe you are alive right this is a true proposition similarly when i go ahead and i say all individuals who breathe are healthy this is false even if i am breathing agar main saans le rahi hu to main bimar bhi to ho sakti hu i can also be non healthy i can be sick so this is a false statement those statements those assertions which are either true or false wo statement jo ya true hongi ya false hongi they are called as proposition ko kya bol diya jata hai proposition now take this example beta this says x square minus 1 is equal to 0 theek hai now is this true or false you will tell me ma'am i don't know it can be true also agar x ka value 1 dal denge to ye statement true ho jayega 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 बट अगर एक्स का वैल्यू टू डाल देंगे डिपेंडिंग ऑन द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स ऐसी स्टेटमेंट जो कभी कभी ट्रू और कभी कभी फॉल्स हो जाती हैं और जो एक्स की वैल्यू पर डिपेंडेंट होती हैं दे बिकम ओपन प्रोपोजिशन क्या बोल देते हैं बच्चों ने दे बिकम ओपन प्रोपोजिशन ठीक है नाउ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इम्प्लीकेशन इम्प्लीकेशन माने सपोज आई टेक टू स्टेटमेंट्स टू प्रोपोजिशन एक प्रोपोजिशन पी ले लिया एक क्यू ले लिया देन व्हेन आई से पी इम्प्लाइज क्यू देखो समझो दिस मींस इम्प्लाइज दिस साइन मीन्स इम्प्लाइज so when i am saying p implies q iska kya matlab hai this means that whenever p will be true then q will also be true kyunki p ki wajah se q hai to agar p ho gaya to q to ho hi jayega so p implies q means when p is true q will be true it is also the meaning that q is a consequence of p क्यू पी का एक कॉन्सिक्वेंस है ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग सपोज आई टेल यू एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन टू सो इफ एक्स स्क्वेर इज ग्रेटर देन ट्रू ग्रेटर देन टू तो एक्स स्क्वेयर विल ऑलवेज बी ग्रेटर देन फोर बेटा इज इंट इट अगर एक्स टू से बड़ा है एक्स इज थ्री फोर फाइव सेवन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन टू तो एक्स स्क्वेयर विल बी ग्रेटर देन फोर so when this is true this will be true when x is greater than 2 x square will be greater than 4 okay so i can say this is p and it implies q fir se dekho next statement x y is equal to 0 when will x y be 0 beta ya x 0 hoga ya y 0 hoga only then the product will be 0 so when xy is 0 it means either x is 0 or y is 
So this can be called as P Q. P implies Q. Okay. Look at the next one. I am saying X is a square. Square kya hota hai? Four sides which are equal to each other. Length and breadth are equal. Then X is definitely a rectangle. So X rectangle to hoga hi hoga. What is a rectangle? Four sides, but length and breadth are not equal. Dhyan se samajhne ki koshish karo. Anything which has four sides is called a rectangle. Anything which has four sides is called a rectangle. The moment these four sides become equal to each other, it becomes a square. जैसे ही वो चारों साइड इक्वल हो जाएंगे वो स्क्वायर हो जाएंगे तो अगर कुछ स्क्वायर है माने चारों साइड्स बराबर हैं तो देर आर फोर साइड्स ये तो गारंटी हो गया तो अगर चार ही साइड्स हैं इट विल बी आल्सो अ रेक्टेंगल सो इफ समथिंग इज अ स्क्वायर पी देन इट इज डेफिनेटली आल्सो अ रेक्टेंगल क्यू सो पी इंप्लाइज क्यू राइट नाउ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड बेटा वी वांट टू नाउ अंडरस्टैंड इक्विवेलेंस इक्विवेलेंस क्या है सपोज आई टेल यू दैट पी इंप्लाइज क्यू एंड एट द सेम टाइम आई टेल यू दैट क्यू इंप्लाइज पी पी इंप्लाइज क्यू एंड क्यू इंप्लाइज पी देन पी एंड क्यू आर इक्विवेलेंट स्टेटमेंट्स तो पी एंड क्यू को क्या बोल दिया जाता है इक्विवेलेंट स्टेटमेंट्स इक्विवेलेंट स्टेटमेंट को एक और तरीके से पढ़ा जाता है दिस साइन दिस इज कॉल्ड एज इक्विवेलेंट साइन इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज इफ एंड ओनली इफ देखो ये बोलता है इफ पी देन क्यू अगर पी होगा तो क्यू हो जाएगा दिस इज इफ क्यू देन पी अगर क्यू होगा तो पी हो जाएगा एंड व्हेन आई कंबाइन द टू एंड आई राइट पी इक्वीवेंस क्यू It means if P then Q, if Q then P, तो P if and only if Q. समझे? Last sign that we use for this is called as if with double F. ठीक है आप समझो बात को मेरी बात. देखो suppose मैं आपको ये बोल देती हूँ कि दो चीजों का product zero है. तो आप मेरे को क्या बोलोगे? कि मैम या तो first number zero रहेगा या second. So when I go ahead and I tell you that the product of two things is zero. You will tell me, ma'am. I know. Either the first number is zero or the second number is zero. Hmm? So I can say, if this, if the product of two things is zero, then either one of them is zero. Okay. Now reverse it. Suppose I have to tell you that, son, in both of them, one thing is zero. In two numbers, one number is zero. One of the two number is zero. I am telling you this. One of the two number is zero. What will happen to the product? Product will be zero. So Q implies P. Clear? So if P then Q, that means if the product is zero, then one of the number is zero. If Q then P, that means If one of the number is zero, then product will be zero. So P implies Q, Q implies P. That means that equivalence. Let's try to see it in the next statement, beta. देखो यहाँ से. When I say that x is greater than four. x square will be greater than uh, x is greater than two. So x square will be greater than four. अगर x two से बड़ा है तो x square four से बड़ा होगा. But if I tell you x square is greater than four, so is it necessary that x will be greater than two? No. Why? What if x is minus seven? Minus seven is less than two. But minus seven square, which is forty nine, is greater than four. समझ रहे हो? So I am saying that if x is greater than two, then I am sure that when you will square it, you will get more than four. But 
if the square is more than 4, it does not imply that the number has to be greater than 2. So, if P then Q, but if Q may or may not be P. So, here there is no equivalence. Clear? Okay. Now, let's go to one important thing, which is called as necessary and sufficiency condition. Beta, when we write P implies Q, ki agar P hoga, to Q hoga. If P will happen, then Q will happen. P implies Q. P hoga to Q hoga. P is called as sufficient condition for Q. Q is called as necessary condition for Q. Right? P is called sufficient condition for Q. Q is called necessary condition for P. Ab dekho dhyan se. If breathing then alive. So breathing implies living. Breathing implies living. If someone is breathing, then the person is alive. That means breathing is P. Living is Q. So P is sufficient for Q. Agar main kisi ko saans leta hua dekh loon, तो वो काफी रहेगा ये बोलने के लिए कि वो इंसान जिंदा है सफिशिएंट मींस काफी रहेगा इट विल बी इनफ राइट और जिंदा रहने के लिए सांस लेना जरूरी है फॉर लिविंग ब्रीदिंग इज अ नेसेसरी कंडीशन आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग राइट आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस थिंग सो P is sufficient for Q. P is sufficient for Q. Agar mein kisi ko saans dete huye dekh loon, to I can say that the person is living. It is enough for me to go ahead and to, uh, to tell that the person is living. Enough. Kaafi hai. Achha, ek aur example lete hai. Suppose I tell you, being square is sufficient for a rectangle. Agar maine kisi ko square hi dekh liya, matlab charo sides equal dekh li, to ye proof ho gaya ki iski four sides hai. If it has four sides, it is automatically a rectangle. To square huna kaafi hai rectangle hune ke liye. Being square is enough for being a rectangle. It is sufficient. Agar kuch square hai, it is if something is a square, it will have four sides, equal sides. Or agar char sides hain, if it has four sides, to wo rectangle bhi hoga, it will be a rectangle. So being square is sufficient. Square hona kaafi hai, rectangle hone ke liye. Clear? Okay. Being rectangle is necessary for being square. Ab agar kuch rectangle hi nahi hai, suppose it's a circle, to square kaise hoga? But agar kuch rectangle hai, to chances hai na ki charu sides equal ho jai and becomes a square. So rectangle is necessary, minimum cheez hai for being a square. Hmm? Getting 40% is necessary for, for passing maths. Maths pass karne ke liye 40% marks lana zaruri hai. It is necessary. Scoring full marks is sufficient to pass maths. Ab agar kisi ke full hi aagai, wo zaruri nahi tha. Uske bina bhi aap pass kar lete. But agar aahi gai, to wo pakka ho gai ki haan. Pass to kiya hi hai. It is enough to tell that someone has passed the subject. Try to understand. Getting 40% is required. It is a necessary condition. Uske bina hum pass nahi kar sakte. I cannot pass maths without getting 40%. But if I get full marks, it is enough. It is sufficient to pass hone ke liye. Right? So it is sufficient to pass the subject. Not necessary. Zaruri nahi hai full lana. Ek number kam bhi laoge to pass karoge. It is not necessary. 
it is sufficient for me to clear the exam. Right? Breathing is necessary for person to be healthy. Agar healthy rehna hai, to pehle breathe to karo, zinda to raho. To breathing is the minimum requirement. Breathing is necessary. Right? Are you understanding this thing? So, breathing is necessary condition for being healthy. And healthy is sufficient for breathing. Agar mein body mein healthy hai, to definitely mein breathe to kari rahi hoongi. Ye enough proof hai ki mein breathe kari. So, it is enough to prove that I am breathing. Right? So try to understand what is the minimum requirement, necessary kya hai, and what is the enough. Ki ye ho gaya enough hai. Right? Jaise, clearing the cutoff is necessary to clear the exam. Ye usually entrance exams mein hota hai. If you clear the CVT cutoff, only then you, are, you will be considered. But it is not sufficient. Sir, cutoff clear karna kaafi nahi hai. Maybe there is an interview. Maybe only the top 100 are selected. Right? But if you top the exam, so this is sufficient hai that you will clear the cutoff. If top hi kar liya, cutoff to clear ho gai hogi na. So try to understand necessary and sufficient condition. Okay, beta. Thank you. I will meet you in the next class.